Hello, my name is Lee Ray. I'm one of the massage therapists at the Holy Family Memorial Wellness Center. We often treat patients that come in with facial and jaw discomfort. And besides treating people, we educate them on how to do self-care. At the Wellness Center, we see members of the Wellness Center, but we also see a significant amount of non-members. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how you can address some of this facial and jaw pain with some self-care techniques. Today, we're also gonna be have Maddie, one of our personal trainers, teaching you some neck stretches, and Kathy, one of our yoga instructors, is gonna be teaching you some breathing techniques. What we're finding is that some of this jaw pain is due to stress, especially during the holidays, there seems to be a little bit more stress teeth clenching, grinding, prolonged periods of time with the mouth open contributes to jaw and facial pain. So initially, when we are talking about treating ourselves and our face, I advise people to make sure their hands are clean. So wash your hands, find a place to sit and relax, a place that you can take a deep breath, put your shoulders back, and then we'll go into some instruction about how to treat yourself. So when addressing the masseter muscle, which by the way, size for size, pound for pound, is the strongest muscle in our body, we're going to come right to the side of our ear and our fingers will naturally fall into the place where that muscle lies right under the cheekbone. So I'm going to gently go into that area apply a nice firm but steady pressure hold that for 10 to 15 seconds reminding myself to take a deep breath and relax my shoulders and before i move on down that muscle i'm just going to take my fingers and do some nice stationary circles and then gently release that pressure and move down my cheekbones. Again, addressing the muscle gently and circles to that area before I work down to the bottom of my cheekbones. If you wanted to, you could repeat this. Besides using your fingers, if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can also address this area with your knuckles. Using your knuckles, you need to be mindful to not use as much pressure. So again, circles in the same manner that you did with your fingertips and moving down and applying that pressure. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a personal trainer here at the Wellness Center. Uh, today I'm just going to show you a little bit of head and neck stretches that you can do. So each exercise I want you to do for about 30 seconds. Stretching should never be painful, it should just be a slight little tug. So to start with, we're just going to reach to the, your ear, slowly bring your ear towards your opposite shoulder, pull for about 30 seconds, then you're going to work the other side. Alright, the next exercise, we're just going to slowly rotate side to side. As you're doing that, keeping your shoulders relaxed, not letting them move with you. The next exercise is going to be up and down, so looking at the floor, nice and slow to the ceiling. Then the next one is going to be circles, so you're just going to go all the way down and around, and then reverse it. So then we're going to do a couple shoulder circles forward, and then we're going to go backwards, and we're going to do a couple more backwards just because we tend to be in the forward posture already, so we want to really straighten out the back. Hi, my name is Kathy Niquette, and I'm one of the yoga instructors at the Wellness Center. I would like to show you some breathing exercises to help alleviate the facial muscle tension that you may be experiencing while wearing these masks. You may find wearing masks, you have become a mouth breather, which can cause tension in the jaw muscles and maybe overall in your body. So these exercises that I will be showing you can help alleviate, alleviate some of the muscle tension and can be done really anytime, anywhere. These exercises can also be done standing, sitting, or lying down. Uh, a nice cue that I would like you to think of is called Just Take Two. Two deep breaths, 
two moments or two minutes to, to do these exercises. The first one that we will try is called Sigh of Relief, and it is just that. You're going to take a deep breath in through your nose and sigh it out through your mouth. So I will demonstrate that. Deep breathing in. Letting it go. And again, breathing in. And letting it go. And with that, you should find that your facial muscles are relaxing and you may find yourself relaxing overall. Be done again at any time, anywhere. The next exercise is called three-part breathing or deep belly breathing. And this is simply just observing your breath and can be done by placing one hand on your chest one hand on your belly. You're going to be breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. So as you breathe in, you should find your hand on your chest and your belly rising, and as you breathe out, falling back to the original position. So again, breathing in, hands rise, breathing out, they fall back to the original position. Ideally, the belly hand should be moving slightly more than your chest hand. And that's to indicate that you're breathing more efficiently. You're filling your lungs fully with air. If you find that you're breathing more in the upper chest, that is an inefficient breathing pattern and you won't get as much air into those lungs. So to help with that, you can move both hands down onto your belly. Take a breath in, feeling those hands rise exhaling, feeling the hands fall, and just simply sitting and observing your breath in and out. As you're doing these exercises, you should note that your facial muscles will be relaxing and you may feel more relaxed overall as you are engaging what's called your parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes that relaxation response. So again, if you just remember to just take two. Take two deep breaths, two moments, or two minutes. It can help alleviate some of the muscle tension you may be feeling in your jaw from wearing that mask. And it may make wearing that mask just a little bit more tolerable. So from all of us at the Wellness Center, we wish you good health and hope to see you for some of our group classes and some self-care through our massage services. Thank you. I hope that these techniques were helpful for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to one of the massage therapists at the Holy Family Wellness Center. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.